So here we have a micro LED display right here with the Industrial Technology Research Institute. Hello, so who are you? Yeah, my name is Chen Chonglin. And uh, this is micro LED? What's yes. What's special about this one? So uh, we are demo two things here. Uh, the first one is the RGB color uh, micro LED on a PCB board. Uh, the significance of this uh, demo is that the most of the micro LED uh, is uh, attached by uh, on the glass substrate, uh, which is much flatter than the, the PCB. And uh, we put the, our micro LED on the PCB board. On the PCB? Yes, on the PCB directly. Because how do other people do? Uh, they put it on the glass substrate. So what, uh, how can you do it without? Um, we have our uh, proprietary uh, mass transfer technology that can uh, transfer uh, a huge quantity of micro LED chips at the same time. Uh, is it possible to see how it is under or is it stuck? Uh, the, it's attached. Attached? It? Yeah. So uh, the, it's, a, it's a circuit board, so you want to see... A, 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 Oh, is it yeah. fragile? I don't want to... Uh, it's okay, but then... Uh, this is a circuit okay, uh, board right quick. here? Yeah, it's a circuit board. And then uh, it's just attached directly... To the, the PCB board on top. And uh, if this... This is significant because um, what could what could be significant about this? Yeah, because if you look at the all, almost all the outdoor or indoor uh, signage, uh, they are on the PCB board. They are not on glass because of the transportation and the installation issues. Uh, industry will prefer PCB board instead of uh, glass. All right, so yeah. it will make it possible to do higher quantities? Higher quantity uh, and then lower cost and then uh, we can tile it. All these modules together become a, a modular uh, display. And right now this one is 80 by 80? Yeah, right now RGB? it's 80 by 80, yes. Can you do much higher resolution? Uh, yes, we can uh, work on that, yeah. Uh, and how would that work? Uh, we will need to uh, shrink the uh, line space in the, in the PCB board and then uh, we need to uh, make the uh, micro LED chip smaller. Yeah. And uh, so right here, you are, you're showing another demo right here. Yes. Uh, maybe you can yeah. move to um, here. And so right here, this, okay. is, this is a smaller micro, yes. micro LED. Yes. So this, so this one uh, is a micro display uh, in a single color. So uh, we have a, a single uh, color gallium nitride chip uh, made in the clean room in the standard semiconductor processes and then we attach them to the uh, uh, silicon based uh, driver circuitry. And then uh, use these uh, ribbons to attach it to this uh, programmable uh, FPGA uh, board. So we can actually program uh, what we're going to show in this uh, uh, 0.55 inch uh, micro display. Alright. Um, so, where are you based? Is this. Uh, um, uh, you mean the. Yeah, E3 is. Uh, the, the where it. Yeah. Where it is? Uh, E3 is located in uh, Xinzhou, Taiwan. And. Uh, how many people? How many students, or how many people? Yeah, the researcher or the, the, the our colleagues. Uh, we probably have about uh, uh, five to six thousand employees in Itri. Uh, but Itri has several campuses. So what I'm talking about is the, the all Itri has. Uh, we do many things. Uh, do a, we do a lot of uh, research, different research. Yeah. And uh, but uh, micro LED is a cutting edge, right? Of this yes. Space. Yes, it's uh, one of the focuses right now. So what do you think uh, the future is going to be for, for micro-LED? Um, we believe they will, the technology will penetrate uh, to signage at first and then uh, they will keep going because they have a lot of uh, potentials in uh, wearable devices, in uh, AR, VR, MR devices, they, those small micro-display and uh, also with the uh, this uh, modular uh, technology, you can uh, 
attach them to a much bigger uh, display. So, so they have a lot of potentials. Yeah.